Today's video is a charity shop haul. I've got quite a few pieces here, um, so I'm going to get straight into it without too much chattering, hopefully. Um, they are from different charity shops. Two of them are Bernardo's. Um, one's the uh, drop-off one, one's the official shop. Um, funny enough, I've always found the drop-off one quite reasonable, but I found a few pieces, but also I found some in the other shop as well, which were really reasonable. So I'm going to start with um, another charity shop. Um, this is a Deborah, um, I think you pronounce it, and um, it's this animal threading. Now, I've actually opened it up. The boxing looks brand new. Um, I've just got the tape off and um, I've checked it all over it's totally complete so you've got the cardboard things if people remember these i bought this for our, my granddaughter and it's like a lace thing so you can thread it through the holes and everything so there's quite a few animals we've got the cat the lion frog the monkey and the one that's not actually made up is the rabbit so it's all complete and everything so like i said i do like to check these things i've only had i think two items again that i ended up dumping that was only one pound fifty um i know you can take things back funny enough there's a couple of charity shops especially bernardo say that you can actually return items and get your money back or an exchange but usually i don't bother i've never took anything back so that's the first one um, and that one i don't know what i said that was a pound and complete along with that from this particular shop i think it was these i bought i think these were 50 pence each i'd like to say i haven't actually got the um receipt in front of me um we got dora and the last city of gold and rock dog so I got a few um, DVDs in for the granddaughter through, um, obviously, the winter. Um, that's all I got from that one. Now for Bernardo's, which is near enough the rest of it. But before I go on to that, I, wanna, I went to the book exchange. This is where you exchange books or you donate books or you pick books up. So I tend to buy a lot of um, his books if I can. This time I had quite a few. I didn't pick them all up because I didn't want to be greedy. So I've got the um, Bear's Big Bottom, which is this one. And like I said, it's quite a big print and everything and um, writing. So that's the first one. So this is um, no spend, this particular one. So I just wanted to um, share it with this one. We've got the Big Bad Bun. Which I thought would probably be good for um, Easter time. And it's got, say, not so much writing. It's got like a school report in there and everything like that. So that's that one. Be Happy was this one. I told you I like these thin books because I can get a few more in my um, sort of um storage thing which is a paper rack from my granddaughter then i've got two christmas ones i've got the santa expert like i said these were no spend i've got those that one and then santa's 12 days of christmas so i didn't actually buy any books this time from any of the stores because obviously i picked these up free of charge from the book exchange shelves at Western Fable Centre. So now is actually Bernardo's left. So I've got um, their DVDs were 20 pence each or 10 for pound. Between me and my friend who I went with, um, we didn't actually, we could have had 10 if we wanted to, but there was only a couple each that we wanted. So I'm trying to limit it as much as I can. I've got Alpha and the Omega, which is this one. And these were 20 pence each. And I've got Bratz, um, Rock um, Angels is that. Um, what I'm planning to do is some of the pieces that are for my granddaughter will go back with her um, because I've got only a certain amount of space, which is now under my stairs, to store things. So that's that. But on the 
that one. I opened this as well. It was all sealed down. This was £1.50, again from Bernardo's, 5 plus, the Bratz game. And I've gone through it all and made sure it's all complete. So I've only had two items. One was a game, one was a jigsaw where one piece was missing. And this is the board game. So, yep. Yeah. So you've got the board here. I can open this up. that so there's the other bit there so that goes on top there so my pops up to hold that in place wheels so yeah so there's that bit so as i said it is complete um i've gone through it all we've got the things like this these are the just i haven't read the instructions i'll do that on another thing and then there's four of each of the colors for the stars so, um, like I said, before I play um, anything or a jigsaw with my granddaughter, I like to check things that are complete. And this was £1.50, so I thought that was really good. Again, um, I've got a few. I've got a couple of collections. I've got, like, Frozen, which is 50 games in one. I've got Frozen, I think, Frustration and things like that. So, this sort of thing... Um, she might be coming um, to spend a weekend with me soon. So what I might do is send some bits back with her like that so she could um, change out the games at home. I will see about that. Talking about the games and everything, this was brand new. This was 50 pence. This is the second one I've bought these. Tigglywinks um, um, for a relative's 80th birthday. We had a dinner party. Then we had things like jumping jacks and tigglywinks and things like that. So this is complete and it's all sealed up, so it's not been used. And there's all the um, tippy rates and everything, the instructions there. And this was sealed as well. This was stuck down. But again, I do like to double, just double check everything. But that could look also for a stocking stuffer as well. And that was 50 pence. Something else that's brand new, I might put this in my youngest son's um, stocking. You know we like these sort of jigsaws. This was £3, not been used, completely sealed. And what you see in the picture is not necessarily um, what the jigsaw is going to be. I bought these up before. These can run £5 upwards normally. So I thought £3 for a brand new one. Again, saved a couple of quid on that brand new. Something else that was brand new. I think these were a pound a set of three. I do like wooden things, you know, like um, wicker things, and I like wooden. And I'm not sure, I know people who can say, no, don't do it. I might take the red um, pom pom nose off and put black. I'm not 100% sure yet. I know you're talking about Rudolph here, probably. But it's three, I think it's three different sizes, yes, it is. But that was a pound. I'm not sure where this originally came from, but I thought a pound for three, I thought was brilliant. And I specifically wanted this for my kid tray. Still carrying on with Christmas. I've got two lots of these. They are complete. They're by Avon. Um, like I said, 50 pence each. I'll open one up. Um, it's a set of, is it five? I think. I'll just check. I think it was five. Oh, it comes with little tags as well. I didn't realise that. One, two, three, four. No, it's a set of four. And I think the other one says a set of four. Yes. Yeah, set of four. And they're these mini boxes. Now, um, I might be going to a craft fair soon. And these sort of things, you can make in the Sussex machine. And I've got things. But I couldn't make them for this price. Um, not with obviously the chocolates. What it is, there's little boxes, and what you do is, I don't really want to squish this too much. It's got a um, sort of crease there, and what you do is you sort of go like this, and it scratches in like so. If you can understand what I'm saying, so it makes like a little box, and you tie it up. I don't want to mess about with it, so I've got um eight with the tags um for a pound 
so i'm really pleased with those i said i'm what i was thinking about doing is do little chocolates in there and possibly putting them on the main tree um i keep mentioning about what i'm going to do about christmas and um things are changing out of the norm from what i normally do at christmas but basically i i'm in the mindset that i won't be decorating my own my whole of my home mainly just putting the main tree up it could change and i keep saying this but so that's that um i think this was 30 pence again i don't know whether to take the red bow off or not it had no price on but it allowed me to for 30p you know i like like i said wicker wooden stuff so i've got this little snowman because i do have little shelving like um in the kitchen and um back doorway you can see this is wooden here as well and obviously you know different parts anyway but i just thought here was kind of sweet a little snowman and it happens to be wooden sometimes thinking out the box as well now i've got a set of black of these but i've only got the one set and this is white and gold this is, was a pound you might have seen i've got the black ones on the stairs um, this one I might just have in my bedroom. Um, it doesn't necessarily scream Christmas, but it could be. I'm hoping, I don't know whether it'll fit in one of my little cupboards on my shelving or not. I might have it in there or I could have it anywhere. Actually, it will go lounge, kitchen, dining room, anything, but it's a pound and it is wood. So yeah, I didn't see any of the other set to it because it might have been a set of three, I don't know, but this was a pound. Um, I try not to buy too much owl stuff now unless it's useful, but I have got rid of a few pieces and I've got an upcoming video of things leaving our home. This is Bernardo's as well. This was the other Bernardo store. It's an outfit for my granddaughter for dress up. I didn't know what it was from. There's no um, age group in it, so I'm, I'm guessing by looking at it. But I asked the assistant and she thinks it's tangled. I don't know, but I presume my granddaughter will know if it is from Disney. And it comes with the bottoms because it's got the rose because I thought it's not in Beauty and the Beast. But it's got these long, like, um, sort of trousers with the mesh in there. And it's got these vines on. So it's a two-piece set for three pounds. And then it's got the dress to go over the um, trousers. As I said, it could be correct. There's no ticket. It might not be um, for Disney. I don't know because normally I have a Disney logo in there, but um, I don't know. But yeah, with the roses and everything, it could be tangled, I suppose. And like I said, it's quite long. So I think judging by it, it is big enough. Now, this assistant told me I can take it back if it doesn't fit. I said to you, I don't, I have never took anything back. I thought, well, I've donated money now, bought something, um, we'll just see. So this was £3 for the two-piece set. Um, I, I know you can get these, and this is from Temu. Um, I've seen them, they're like £1.47, this is a pound. Um, and I think sometimes you can get them even cheaper. It's the shelf with the two men. It's complete. It's sealed. So I paid a pound for that. And um, it should be able to be stuck on a wall so that I haven't got to actually screw it in, if that makes sense. So that's that one. I've got a couple of little crafty bits due to the fact that... Um, I'm trying to limit it. I've used so much um, of my craft stuff up, making cards and things, tags. They'll be filtering through. I'm not sure how much that interests you, but it's something that I like doing. Another thing I like getting wicker and wooden. Well, it's a bit of both, actually. Got wooden heart and that. And this was 50 pence. Sometimes I like to pull them to bits use them and put some flowers on or whatever or it can be very neutral like that and can go in a majority of my rooms or I can revamp it if that makes sense I've got this packet of stickers this was 30 pence um just 
because I could use this probably in one evening, if not um, shorter than that, for doing my crafting. I've got this one. I'm not sure if these are all complete. Um, this one is by, um, what's it? Adorable Elegance Christmas Sparkling Tree. And it's got the backing paper behind with the embellishments. I like to make a couple of cards. And this was 50 pence. And then this one is the, is it the same make. No, it's not. But this has not got any embellishments. It's got the sheets in. One of the sheets is cut a little bit off there. What I thought would be ideal, I could even alternate between the colours. So that's navy. Is use this on some backing or make a card. Use a bit of the navy or black as a little bit of um, a square. And then I can sit and cut some of these um, snowmen out and put them on the darker card onto this, if that makes sense. Or I can just use a white card and use a lot of this and make quite a set of the snowman cards. As I said, I've used so many pieces that I've actually, um, you know, getting low on, on stuff. Now, this item, I bought things from the second Bernardo shop and then she was just pricing these up and I said, oh, you're putting those out? And she said, yeah, she had quite a few. They were donated. I think they might have been from Etsy or something. I've checked the Etsy store. I haven't found the complete same bag, but you know me and it's this. It's this bag with the handles like that. You know me and it's got this um, buckle design there. Um, I might just need a bit of tightening up there, which I'll do now like that. The inside is red. It's brand new, got the tag on. They charged me £3.50 and um, I just love it. And it is by Ditsy Dilly, home, um, homemade um, for you. So I think it's something on Etsy because I looked up the name. Um, so I might be wrong there, I don't know. But now I regret not buying the rest of them. There was about four, maybe six of them because I thought they would make lovely gifts. Yeah, make a nice mobile craft bag, peg bag, whatever I could find. And of course, you know my um, sort of um, furnishings is sort of going this way, the black and white checked. So yeah, I just love it. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I do regret not getting the other bags. I thought if I went back a few days later, if they were there, i will purchase the rest of them all different ones and I could use them for gifts and also if I've got any more I could stack them in with like um like a spa set dvd or chocolate something like that mini game so you could have chocolates say um I'm just throwing things out like this jigsaw um game chocolates things like that and dvd that sort of thing in something like that and that is part of the gift but this one i'll keep to myself i've got a sneaky feeling again i regret but i'd already this was the last shop i went into and i felt that i didn't spend any more money because i i spent quite a bit i got quite a lot for my money mind you that's what i like about the charity shop and it was one of those instances that i could have gone mad it was one of those times where everything i looked at was reasonably priced and i wanted it but i had to limit it Plus I was carrying it, plus I was with my friend. My friend was um, bundled up as well with a lot of stuff as well. So um, yeah, and we walked it there and I walked it home to our separate homes. So fair bet they'll be sold. But if they happen to be there next time I go into this store, I will actually probably purchase the rest of them if I can find them. It'll be fate. Um, if they're there, they're there. If not, they're not. I got the one that I chose because of that. It has got the red lining. It would go nice, obviously, red curtains, black. If I want to hang it up and put things in it if I wanted to. I had thought about it, but I think it was, um, you know, maybe a bit sacrilege to make it into a, um, have it as a peg bag. Um, I think that's sacrilege, actually. But you know me, because a lot of my stuff is out on show, I try and match it up. Like I've got 
black basket now with my um pegs and things like that but i have got pegs beyond my dining room door so um i might put that up there so that i think concludes all my um haul for the charity shots hopefully you've enjoyed this i've got a number of videos coming up and hauls i've got a lot of stuff down on the floor that i need to get done whether i get it done today i don't know plus i've got some more videos of um the cards that I've made. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.